Hello everyone, how are you doing? If you're new to the channel, uh, welcome. My name is Divya and it's so good to meet you. And if you're already part of the crew, well, welcome back. I'm so happy to see you here. So today we're gonna be doing something a little bit different in the sense that um, this was not at all a planned video. I don't have a script. I just was actually looking back on my January month and um, setting my intentions for February like this morning and I was like actually I thought it would be interesting to share this process with you and share my thoughts with you so here we are this is all going to be about um, my January reflections and my February intentions um, I think I'm gonna start with my thinking on the new year new resolutions kind of like mindset and an update of where I am about that and then we're gonna deep dive into the you know January what happened what can be improved and then you know planning February together and I'm hoping that you know when you see this video you're gonna also take the time to sort of like set your intentions for the next month so here we go um, my thinking about the new year so um, I am someone and I think that you know a lot of you can relate on that but I am someone that really like the new year because it's sort of like this fresh start that we've all been waiting to kind of like move on from the past and start this new journey it's like this big reset button that we can just press and then like something magical is gonna come this is what I have in my mind every time that I sit and plan for the new year and um, going on that you know I think I leaned a little bit too much on the new year new me kind of like mindset in the sense that I feel like when it's a new year I'm just gonna become this new person and things are just gonna be magically happening around me and that's not really how it works I know it but it's just like a tendency that I have and that I have realized and with that I realized that I have a tendency to set like unrealistic and maybe like too much of a big expectations of what I want to achieve this year and so I go and I think of myself of becoming this you know superwoman slash transformer person that is going to be able to accomplish those huge huge goals and for sure you know those goals are completely achievable and I do believe that everyone can achieve whatever they put their mind to if they actually like make time for it and if they actually like focus on it but sometimes it can be a bit overwhelming you know those big goals can look like huge mountains that you have to climb and I don't know sometimes it can be a bit overwhelming in general and then to be honest it can be a bit of a turnoff and not really motivating and not really like encouraging and so what I have decided is that I'm not gonna wait for another year to kind of like set those big goals again because I don't think it's actually productive but rather what I'm going to do is really treat every single day as a mini new year because every single day is a real chance for us to reset and a real chance for us to set new intentions and set new goals and go and achieve them and because it is only 24 hours I feel like when we set those goals it's going to be so much more realistic um, because we, we know that we have like a day to do it so we cannot like build a whole business in one day but just like a minor steps towards it I don't know if I'm making sense so basically what I'm gonna be focusing on is um, really trying to do 1% better every single day and in the end I figure that if we do 1% better every single day then by the end of the year we would have done like 360 how many days are there in a week like 365% uh, better on the year rather than just like 100% better after a year I don't know if I'm making sense if this math is even correct but um, I do believe in the impact of compounded effects and so the fact that if you do 1% every single day like tiny things are just going to build up and build up to become like this huge um, thing and I do believe that it is somehow more productive so this is the new mindset um, really just trying to do 1% better every single day now we're gonna deep dive into January what happened um, what went well what went wrong or what could have been better and then uh, how we were to set intentions for February accordingly so January 
um, I feel like we should probably segment this part into like personal and then professional slash fashion. And so personal. Um, by the end of 2022, I realized that a lot of my low points in the year were caused because I had a lot of like impulses that I didn't control. This might sound a bit like weird, but uh, what I mean by that is that I would act or say things without really thinking things through and therefore what ended up happening is me regretting what I said or do and then spiraling down and then it would create like this I don't know huge moment of distress and a low in my life and when I look back on the year last year a lot of my low points were um, like created because of that so my main goal for this year was really to get myself under control and what I realized is that maybe those impulses are really my ego taking over and acting without my consent so um, for this year I really to get my ego in check and uh, really to like think through what before I do or I say things and that would prevent from you know any regrets in the future and one thing that I realized was that whenever I would have like a very frazzled and scattered mind this would tend to happen so much more and whenever I would have a much more calmer mind and you know whenever I would feel grounded then this would never happen like my mindset would be totally different and um, I have the tools to have this like calm and collected mindset and this is seriously just by taking the moment in the morning to spend time with myself connect with myself so either by doing like some meditation reading sitting in silence and uh, also major major super important is um, keeping my phone away from me for at least an hour after my wake up because the moment I get on my phone like I am not myself anymore. I am just reacting to everything that I am seeing and I don't I just don't feel like it's really healthy. So these were like my main goals to really take 30 minutes in the morning to have this mindful moments and to stay away from my phone for at least an hour after my wake up. And when I look back on my month of January, I think I did pretty good on that. What I'm going to say is that um, I usually I track everything that I do. So I have my little remarkable here. And on that I have my trackers for like I check every day that I did my mindful moments. And um, so I have the number and I did that more than half of the month. So I did that more than like six, I think I did like 20 days, which I think is good enough and therefore what i want to do for february is do one day more so i'm gonna be making sure that i do my mindful moments at least 21 days and to be honest like this kind of like thinking is very feasible i think and i i, I feel like it's very like practical and it doesn't look super unrealistic so that's what i'm gonna be doing um otherwise my other personal goals was really like regarding health and wellness um, I did want to have a healthier eating kind of like pattern in January which I did not really I, I did not feel really great in my body in January because I was eating out a lot um, our friend was here so obviously we were dining a lot out and in Bali in general I did not cook so we would end up ordering in so much more and you know I just felt bloated the whole time it was not great it was not pretty and then also my water consumption was very low so this is definitely something that I'll be working on this month but I feel like I have the tools to do it now as well because there I have easier access to grocery shopping and I have a kitchen that is well equipped to do so much more cooking and baking so this is gonna help and uh, yeah so I'm gonna keep track of it and make sure that at least one day more in February, I'll you know I'll be really focused on my healthy eating and water consumption. Um, fitness wise, I think I've been good. Uh, my goal was always to do at least three times a week um, to exercise and move my body, and I've been doing that or even more. So that is not really a concern because I, for me right now, it does not even feel like a chore anymore to go work out. I just feel like such a good moment and such a like a wellness moment like like a self-care moment because I appreciate it so much and I actually crave it and I enjoy it so 
um it's not even like something that i am concerned or like that i have to like track that closely because it's very natural now so that is it for my personal kind of life kind of like intentions and uh, reflections and now moving on to my professional and passion by passion i mean youtube so professional like life um january was not that bright of a moment for me because i was supposed to go on and work on a project um, that would really kick start my front end development kind of like freelance era and that project kind of fell through because the client did not have the budget to you know invest in the, in the rebranding and remaking of their blog and website so unfortunately that kind of like fell through it's fine but um I realized that also I needed to make more moves to go and get those new clients and um, you know sell them my scales and services and um, right now I am really building my portfolio website and I'm setting up my freelance profiles and everything so my intentions for February is really to have everything set up my portfolio website ready to go and looking great and looking killing and um, also to contact people on LinkedIn to reach out to them and definitely it is not something that is easy for me because this is very new you know um, I never used to be a freelancer that needed work before you know I had like projects coming in my way so I was re really lucky for that but it's fine it's different times and now it is requiring me to do so much more effort and it's fine i'm here for it i'm gonna do it um so that is the mood for february i'm going to really reach out to people and set up my freelance uh, profile on different websites and really try to like apply to as many projects as possible and by the end of february my goal would be to have like a very a serious prospect of a client you know in the pipeline you know i don't think it is much for asking i think it's completely feasible so and it is also up to me so let's do it let's go get it um and let's get our first client so exciting and on the youtube side of things um i realized by the end of last year that i actually really like youtube i loved filming editing and publishing the videos i don't know there is some sort of satisfaction that comes with it that i really really appreciated and um and so i also realized that i wanted to do it so much more seriously because i don't know if you have been watching my previous vlogs I did not have any expectations when posting those vlogs. It was literally me filming myself to hold myself accountable and to have the the feeling that someone was watching and that, that I had to show up for myself. That was literally why I started my YouTube channel in the beginning. So, and that is also explain why my vlogs are so bad. They are so boring. I am being honest with myself like my vlogs are really bad don't watch them please like they are super boring there's no editing they're very basic it's literally me talking about random stuff of my day and how I'm trying to motivate myself and how I'm trying to like you know do more and so um but I really enjoyed it for some reason I like doing vlogs and I love posting them but i do think that if i want to take youtube seriously i need to invest into like doing some editing at least minor editing you know to make things a bit more engaging and also for me not to cringe that much that much like later on i want to be proud of the videos that i'm putting out and right now my vlogs are not a proud moment for me so i'm going to really try to do better on that and um, since I also have like my freelance career that I have to kick off obviously I know that I cannot be everywhere at the same time and therefore that I have to like choose my battles a little bit and if I want to produce more videos that are of higher quality I think I need to cut back on the quantity so instead of doing like daily vlogs that I used to do which I don't even think is interesting or i don't even think is relevant i'm going to do like more of a weekly vlog kind of like thing and that might regroup a few days of the week 
where it will be centered around a theme like there's gonna be like a, a message resonating with you guys hopefully and not just some random clips of me doing stuff in my life um, so I'm gonna do like a, a weekly vlog and I also really like the sit down videos like this like where I just sit down and I chit chat with you guys about stuff that is going on in my mind and stuff that I'm working on myself and just like I am someone that really likes self-development in general I really believe in like you know really working on improving ourselves and becoming a better version of ourselves and so i am really on this journey learning so much reading listening to podcasts and i really want to share all of those tips or you know everything that i try myself i want to share with you so i feel like the sit downs videos are a good way to do that so i'm going to continue doing that and so my goal for february is basically to publish at least one weekly vlog a week and one sit down video around like a major like a main theme so that is going to be in yeah in a nutshell that is kind of like my intentions for february so personal life wise we're gonna continue on the same path we're doing great already we're just gonna do one person better um, on the professional life we have some bigger goals to accomplish because i do want to have my all my portfolio and freelance profiles ready to go and i do want to have one serious client in my pipeline so that's gonna be the main goal and then for youtube i'm gonna be trying to stick to two videos a week i have yet to decide which day i want to post them um because i do want to have something regular so that i can work around like my posting schedule and i am thinking right now either like sunday wednesday or sunday thursday so it gives me some times in the in between to kind of like edit Another thing about YouTube is that before I was using iMovie because I had no idea, I never touched like a video to edit before in my life. So obviously iMovie was already on my computer, I used it. And I actually realized that I have access to Premiere Pro. So I need to level up and use that. And I already opened it and tried to edit a video and so far, I have a newfound respect for people editing videos because this software is so complicated but I feel like if you understand it and at least if you understand the basics you can do great things with it so I'm gonna invest some time into learning this new skill and I feel like anyways you know video editing can be such a like valuable skill in general so it's I'm never gonna lose by learning that so I'm going to get better at editing uh, but again i'm gonna do it one percent at a time it's going to be completely unrealistic for me to think that from one day to the next the next video is going to be like steven spielberg kind of productions that is not going to happen i know it and if i had this expectation it's just like me being totally delusional which sometimes happens but that's beside the point um what i mean is that i'm gonna make sure that every single video that i post is going to be one percent better every time so maybe i use and i try to do like a different effect and i try to put that in the video and maybe that i'm trying to get better with like music in the background you know and that's going to be like one percent better for the next video small things like this but i feel like maybe after 50 videos then my videos are going to be a bit more you know consumable and so uh, yeah that's the plan for youtube wise kind of like thing and yeah that was it for my january reflections and february intentions let me know if you liked it and let me know if you like those little random chit chats um and maybe we can do one after february if this is something that resonates with you and i want to know what are your february intentions because at the end of the month you know let's keep each other accountable here and let's make things happen all right so thank you guys so much for watching thank you guys for checking out my channel and subscribe if this is something that could be interesting for you i will really appreciate it and i'll see you very soon